In this video, what we're going to do is get our Life360 account set up with our SmartThings to take advantage of the location sensors that Life360 provides. Coming up next. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. And in this video, what we're going to do is get our Life360 account set up with our smart things to take advantage of the location sensors of the Life360 app. So what you need to do first is obviously download the Life360 app and I already have it installed. Um, looks like they have an update so I'll go ahead and update mine real quick. And once you open the Life360 app, if you haven't signed in yet, you're going to have to sign in. So that would be um, the first step that you would have to do. For some reason I cannot find a way to sign out and that's probably a good thing that's why this always works because it's always logged in and as long as you give the location permission on your phone it will work so you can see um, I have two people that are have left the house here um, I just actually reconnected my phone today and Lyra doesn't have her location permission set on her phone um, so I could just tap that and then send her a text message and let her know that hey, turn on your location for this to work um, so what this does is um, you can create um, a circle you just tap at the bottom and then you would name your circle and then once you have created a circle you can invite people to your circle. You can just email them this code or send them a text message. And then what they would have to do is download the app, create an account in the app, and then use this code. And then they would be in one of your circles. That is basically what we want to grab is these people out of the Life360 app and bring them into our SmartThings app so we can use those as present sensors and we can create some cool automations with those. Um, this app does quite a bit of things as well, um, but a lot of the stuff you do have to pay for. If you really want it, you can pay for it, but you do not have to pay for it to do what we're doing today. Um, you can add different places here. So, um, you know, you would know if someone is at Costco or who is home, if I'm at work, if Lyra's at work. There's also safety stuff here. Most of this stuff is paid. So what we need to do is go over to our SmartThings app now. Now we are using the classic app. So if you are on the new app, you just want to download the classic app, log in with your Samsung account, and you can follow along and everything will show in your new SmartThings app once you have it set up. So what you want to do is go over to the automation tab and go all the way to the bottom and click add a smart app. Okay, so once in the smart app section, you just want to go down a little bit where it says social, tap that, and you can see that there is a Life360 Connect right here. You just tap on that, and then what it's gonna say is um, click to enter your Life360 credentials, just tap that. And then what you're gonna wanna do here is just log in using your Life360 um, email and password that you set up when you set up your account. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right, and then once you are signed in, it's going to ask you, do you want to connect um, the two together? So yes, we're going to hit the done in the upper right hand corner. And then now you're going to want to choose um, one of your places. What you want to do is basically choose your home location. Um, so you, that should be one of the places that you have set up in the Life360 app. We're going to go ahead and hit done on home and hit next. And now what you're going to do is just add the users um, that we saw before. We're going to go ahead and select all of those and click done. 
And now we just need to hit save. Now it is installing the smart app and the people that we just chose. So you can see under our smart app section, we have the Live 360 Connect here. Now if you ever needed to come back in and do anything over, you could go through these steps one more time. Say if you added um, someone, you could come in here and check that box that they've been added. So now if we go back over to my home tab, we should be able to find these users. And they're gonna come in at the exact same name that they were before. So you can see Anna is here, so we can tap that. And it says, um, well actually it has the time right now because it just got connected. But once um, um, she returns home and then leaves again, it would have a new um, time there. It'll have an account of all the recent activity. And if you go to the settings, cog in the upper right hand corner and change the name. So what I like to do is I like to have all of these devices right next to one another. So I'm going to put Live 360 with a dash like that. And then you could also set an, uh, an image for the little circle. Just put Ari's head there and hit save. And now if we go back to the My Home section, slide down just to refresh it here, and it will disappear because we did rename it, so it's gonna be further down in the list. And there we go, so we got a picture. And then what you would wanna do is do the same thing with all of the rest of the people that you've added. So I'm gonna go do that real quick so we have Lyra right here. Okay, so you, now you can see that I have all of my people added. So I have all of their pictures and I have them all labeled um, in a similar manner. And now what we can do is we can use this to automate so if people leave or people return we can have certain things happen it's the same thing as um, setting up your iphone um, through the smart things app you can um, obviously do that um, but in this case what we had to do to use the built-in smart things is we had to install smart things on the person's phone and then we had to give them permission to our smart things so they also have all of the permissions to all of our smart things. So say if you had like a friend or a guest that was visiting you, obviously you wouldn't want to set all of that up for them and give them access to your smart home. What you'd want to do is just add their presence to smart things without giving them access to your smart home. So this is a great solution here to get that done um, you can easily use this integration and you could also use the iPhones that you have set up in smart things and your life 360 at the same time as well because what you could do is you can come over to your life 360 account and you can go to places if you go to the my home what you could do is you could increase or decrease the geofence zone. So that way you could have multiple geofence zones. So say, you know, we wanted a really big zone, we could do that. And um, if we're using the sensors that are connected to the Life360 app, then the zone would be much larger than the zone that we were using on our SmartThings app. Or you could do the exact opposite and you could have it super tight so maybe you want things to happen when you're really 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 close to home um, but you don't want it to do other things you can have that multiple geofence zone and use both of the sensors together so that is pretty much all i wanted to show you in that video that's how to connect your life 360 app 
to your SmartThings and use the present sensors in SmartThings. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I will see you in the next video.